Hi there Gemini, welcome to my channel. I hope you're well. So I'm going to do a quick um, general reading for you. It may or may not resonate depending on your circumstances at this time. Just take any messages that do, discard the rest. If nothing resonates then it's not your message. Check out forthcoming videos. I read future energy, present energy and past energy so also bear that in mind. And cross watchers you are very welcome on this channel. I appreciate you all stopping by. Let's get into your reading and see what's going on for the sign of Gemini at this time. Clear and accurate messages, please, Spirit, for the sign of Gemini. Okay, that's enough shuffling. Let's see what's going on. Okay, nine of coins, six of wands. Oh, that's too many, spirit. Okay. Two of cups, the emperor. These wanted to jump out, so I'm going to take them. The lovers, the magician. That's showing up in your own energy here with the lovers. We've got the two of swords, the eight of cups. One more, please. And we'll get some clarity. And the queen of wands. Bottom of the deck, three of swords. Okay, let's see what's going on. Right, why is the nine of coins here for Gemini, please? Why is the Nine of Coins here for Gemini? Hmm. Nine of Coins is clarified by the King of Pentacles. Some of you are self-sufficient at the moment. Some of you are the provider of your house. Um, I'm hearing the provider for the household. There's something here to do with the King of Pentacles. I'm going to get some clarity on that. Um, even further but I feel like you're also looking good I'm hearing you're coming across as somebody that is um, very independent stable pre-empress energy here with the nine of pentacles someone that's focused on um, making sure you have enough by yourself here making sure that you're content um, materially for yourself here there's something around not depending on anybody else at this time which is coming up quite um, strongly for you you could be being noticed by a king of pentacles let's see what this is but there's a real sense of you and your masculine energy at this time um, Gemini regardless of whether you're uh, male or female here I just see you stepping into some sort of masculine energy which is bringing in some sort of abundance and independence for you what else why is the King of Pentacles here? Yeah, King of Pentacles with the strength in reverse. Maybe someone that was a provider for you, Gemini, is also not doing so well at this time or not feeling confident or courageous. And it could be because I'm hearing you're standing in your power with this Nine of Pentacles energy. Someone might feel a little bit intimidated. Could be a Leo. Doesn't have to be. But someone's position feels like it's why am I hearing no longer tenable? That's strange. That feels like career mess. It could be. But it feels like someone, um, someone feels like they no longer have control or power or influence. It could be this king of pentacles here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It doesn't have to be. But someone that played some type of masculine figure in your life could have been a partner could have been someone that provided quite a lot. Whatever it is, they see you as highly independent now and doing things for yourself. And you seem to be very happy in this energy. You seem to be thriving is what I'm hearing. Six of Wands, why is this here for Gemini? Okay, managed to catch that one before it fell on the floor. Six of Wands with the Three of Cups. Gemini, I'm getting a sense that you are celebrating at this time. You could be going out quite a lot, I'm hearing. <laughs> Meeting up with friends, acquaintances, 
the people that you haven't seen for a long time. I just see you um, celebrating and going out at this time. It's whatever you're doing, you're being noticed. Hmm. Interesting energy. Maybe you're being recognised and appreciated when you go out, meeting up with people. It's light-hearted energy. It's nothing to do with work at this moment in time. I feel like this is you getting out and about, putting your face in new environments, and people are... It's, I'm getting this visualisation of you walking in the door, Gemini, and it's like people's heads are just popping up like, oh, who's that? Hmm. He looks quite nice. Oh, she looks lovely. Is that type of energy? <laughs> oh, nice. You might be flirting a little bit as well. I feel very giggly um, and I'm blushing as well. <laughs> so again, I'm just getting this real sense that you're getting a lot of um, recognition. You could be very attractive, very handsome, Gemini. All right, what else? Two of Cups. Why is this here for Gemini at this time? Two of Cups. Two of Cups for Gemini. Mm, two, two cards, okay. Two of Cups with the Hanged Man in reverse and the Ten of Pentacles. For some of you, you were in a, um, a long-term commitment. You were with someone that you saw as your soulmate. Um, I've just had confirmation there, yep. You were with someone for a while. It feels like... Um, Mm, Ten of Pentacles, this is someone that you shared a family home with, had a family with. For you, for some of you, you felt stuck in this. Hanged Man in Reverse, you felt a bit trapped. Let's get another card on this. Why is this, please, Spirit? Well, you were holding on to it, but it wasn't serving you anymore. There's something like that coming out strongly. What else, please, on this for Gemini? I definitely feel like you were stuck because none of the cards want to come out. See? <laughs> Goodness, this was a long time. Yeah, four of swords. Okay. There was something to do with needing to recover from something that you were stuck in for a long time. A soul connection. Someone that you loved very much and they loved you. I feel like you maybe, yeah, you had to recover from this energy, whatever it was. One more. Yeah, page of cups. You still, you still, okay. I feel like you still have feelings for this person. Page of Cups energy. Even though you have reflected on this, even though you have had to take your time to get over this um, situation, or for some of you, you're still in this situation here, but you feel stuck. And I see a lot of kind of pensive energy. You're kind of resting and contemplating and with the page of cups for some of you there's something that you want to apologize for or this person wants to apologize for and for others of you there's still some kind of fondness here even though you're trying to work out whether or not this is for you this connection is working out let me get another one judgment yeah a lot of awakenings a lot of awakening moments happening with this judgment card seeing things for what they really are i'm going to dig deeper why is this here please spirit queen of swords in the reverse some of you are viewing your person masculine or feminine energy doesn't matter as a queen of wands in the reverse maybe someone has been quite um cold towards you for a long time maybe someone has set strong boundaries here and that's the realisation that you've come to in this situation. With the Four of Swords, it could have taken a long time for you to process this. Hmm. Okay. Why is the Emperor here? Why is the Emperor here? Thank you. The Emperor and the Empress. Look at that. For some of you, this is your divine counterpart. What about, what about this, please, Spirit? Oh. The Emperor, the Empress and the world. Some of you are looking for your divine counterpart. You're looking towards a new beginning and you want to find someone that can provide for you. Just drop two cards, but I'm going to get them because I feel they're going to be relevant. But I am getting a sense that some of you have maybe 
it doesn't feel like you've closed out cycles. It feels like you're trying to get ready to start a new cycle. Bear with me while I pick up these cards. Okay, yeah. Some of you are up in your head about this. Could feel like you're actually in a... Eight of Wands can speak about kind of like spiritual jail or a mental prison or bound to thoughts around a new beginning. But for some of you Geminis here, you want to find your equal, your other half. Hmm. I see for some, you're waiting for your ships to come in, three of wands energy, or you're strategizing as to how you're going to bring about a, a new connection with someone that you feel is, ooh, for some of you, you're highly spiritual. And I'm getting, with the emperor and the empress here, there's something around a divine match. I don't feel like, for the high vibrational Geminis that I'm reading for, they, ha they have to match you and they have to match your energy. I'm hearing your growth and your development. Somebody needs to be on the same level as you, otherwise it's not going to work. That could also be for some of you what you're strategizing around here. Where are you going to find people that are on your level? This divine person. All right, love is here. Gemini energy. Why is this here, please? Why is the love is here for Gemini? Okay, the love is with the fall in reverse. One more, please. Some of you have waited a while to have a leap of faith here. Mm. You might have felt like when you were in a connection, you, you could have lost your independence to some extent. There's a reason why this has come out in reverse. And maybe you didn't take leaps of faith when you were in a connection with someone. Lovers. With the fool in the reverse, I feel like you didn't really try anything new, is what I'm picking up here. Or you, or you were slow to take... Hmm. I feel like for some of you here who were in a long-term connection or commitment, I feel like the relationship may have become quite stagnant and there weren't new leaps of faith taken. There wasn't kind of newness um, applied to your relationship to keep it happy, healthy and loving and I feel like with the nine of pentacles you may have also felt like you weren't independent, you had to rely on somebody else, rely on someone else for money, that's what I feel, right, the magician cards, why is this here please, why is the magician here, yeah the magician with the four of wands, you could have been dealing with someone in a family unit that you felt was a bit manipulative here, with the magician and the four of wands and for others of you i see that you're trying to manifest a new family unit here hence the reason why you've got the emperor and the empress and the world you absolutely want a new stable foundation involving um yeah it could be children and also a new love interest maybe having all of this if you are single and you don't have any children yet and are of um, childbearing age um Four of Wands, you want all of this now, I feel. Right, to finish off, Two of Swords. Why is this here for Gemini? Two of Swords with the Eight of Wands. Right, yeah. With the Queen of Cups. Some of you were mums or motherly um, type energies. And I feel like you felt stuck for a long time. Two of Swords, conflicted about which way to move forward. Because your focus has been elsewhere. I also feel like you feel you've been given. You've given a lot to others, um, a lot of time, energy, resource, you've been kind, you've been generous, but you, there's something around you feeling conflicted or confused, what's this please spirit, yeah, it's because you, I feel like you're ready to pour into yourself now Gemini, that's what I'm getting here, you're ready to pour love back into yourself and into somebody else, like as in a new love interest, hmm, some of you aren't sure how to go about this, but I see it very much in your energy at the moment, wanting to offer up your love to someone new. Right, Eight of Cups. What's this? Eight of Cups for Gemini. Eight of Cups with the Ten of Swords. So I'm getting energy for some of you that you have moved away from a situation that left you feeling like you were betrayed, backstabbed in some way, cheated on. Um, you either way you feel like this was a disappointment for some of you it's multiple people once again 
gosh, quite a lot of star signs are getting this at the moment. There seems to be like this energy emerging of people releasing um, people that have done them wrong in, in different ways here. You've turned your back on this, Gemini, and you've um, decided to put these painful um, endings behind you. Let me get one more card. Why is this, Spirit? Yeah, you're, you're unbothered. I feel like you're showing an energy of being unbothered by whatever took place in the past that made you really distraught, Gemini. I feel like now you're like, you've lost interest. You're just like, whatever, I've moved on or I'm moving on. Okay, Queen of Wands, why is this here for Gemini? Queen of Wands with the Two of Pentacles, with the Seven of Wands here. Okay, interesting. Some of you here, Geminis, I'm picking up a... Hmm, there could be a Queen of Wands around you. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, with the Two of Pentacles, that's either... I'm hearing unstable or have... Oh, yeah. Something around an unstable or an unbalanced energy around you that you could have blocked here, Seven of Wands, or that you are guarded towards, defensive. There's something around you having your guard up at this time, Gemini. Let me get another card on this. Why is this his spirit, right? Spirit's giving me two, so I'm going to take them both. This could be someone, this could be a family member. Ten of Cups to the Justice. Something to do with karma or justice in a situation to do with a family. High Priestess energy. I feel like, Gemini, you are using your intuition at this time. And whatever it's telling you, it's 100% correct your internal compass is showing you truths i'm hearing the, the truth of a matter or the truth of circumstances there's something about an energy unbalanced or unstable that you are having to defend block out guard yourself from and i feel it could be in your family your intuition is telling you how to handle this how to proceed that's what i feel Right, any last messages before we close it out? Two of Cups, looking for mutual love. You're looking for your, okay, nice ending. Two of Cups with the King of Cups. For some of you, you feel like your soulmate could be a water sign here, um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. For others of you, you are looking for a counterpart that's emotionally available, someone that is, um, someone that is able to feel vulnerable, around you and share their emotions and vice versa you feel like you want someone that is going to do that with you for some of you 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 found this person um and the love is strong right now is what i'm hearing and for others of you this could be what you're moving towards with the ace of cups two of cups king of cups nice energy very lovely right i'm going to end it there um so my eye is being drawn to talk about the three of swords really quickly i feel like spirit wants me to say something mm. for some of you here just to finish off um for some of you have been up in your head heartbroken about particular love matter or particular love matters someone that someone that tried to uh, i don't know why i'm hearing compete or co put you in competition with someone else some sort of drama and conflict is still in your aura you're still upset about it and again i'm just getting it to do with a family unit some kind of a family dynamic you are still heartbroken by something but i also feel you're trying to move on and find an equal counterpart that's going to give to you as you will give to them okay i am definitely going to finish up now hope it's resonated if it has hit that like button and i'll see you back in another video namaste